Hello Greatness, you are welcome and tuned into Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Stay tuned for another inspiring episode from your host, and now let's welcome Dr. Vincent Apong. Hello Mighty One, how are you doing today? As always, I know because of the I am within, you are safe, you are protected, you are kept. Lesson number three from the book Wealth by Joseph Saber Banner. We've gone through lesson number one, which was just an introduction, asking the question, who are you? And how do you think you had all the opportunities that you have had, the abundance, the riches, or the blessedness that you are enjoy, enjoying? How did you come about them? Why were you born into the family in which you find yourself? And in lesson number two, he answered the question and said, it is I. Right, um, and he asked the question, who am I? Who is this I that provided all of these things to you? And so in lesson number three, now the question is no, right? Knowing. So let's begin from lesson number three. He said, no, my son, that I give no thing to anyone unless that thing has been earned by him. So this is no, right? He said, no, my son, that I give no thing, it means nothing, to anyone unless that thing has been earned by him. By earned, I mean grown ready for it through desiring it so strongly that he finally draws from me his all-powerful, all-perfect self within, sufficient life force and vital energy to compel conditions and circumstances to yield up and other intelligences to supply the necessary means and substance to provide form or actuality for that thing so it is that some so it is that some time in the past either in this life or in the previous existence you had arrived at the point where i could inspire in you the idea of possessing wealth i could do this for you i could do this for you had grown in soul stature and strength so that it had come time to awaken and deploy in you certain of your soul qualities and faculties which I needed for use in my service. So I implanted in your mind the idea of possessing wealth and riches. This idea following the usual course of nature in the process of time put forth its rootless within the soil of world conditions these rootlets of determination of persistence daring doing saving seeing only success ahead undiscouraged by the obstacles never recognizing failure you pushed your way unerringly to the most fertile soil through and past all obstacles deep into the earth nature Likewise, and at the same time, a little shoot from the idea pushed its way up towards the light and gradually you began to show itself above the surface of your mental and material life. This shoot, which was the stock of the idea of wealth, it grew fast when once firmly rooted and it soon became a study. Wide spreading tree. That tree is the outward manifestation of your life today. The nature and the kind of the tree is what your character is. Mm. 
it leaves its leaves are your money its fruits just what the possession of that money has meant to you if there is a decay or unsoundness in root trunk or branch it is because of error wrong or disease somewhere in the tree which finally will destroy it unless rem- remedied or removed is there any error wrong or disease in your tree my son or my daughter are there any worms not knowing their way into its heart let us see let us search deep beneath the surface soil of world conditions with its finely worked out system of legitimate methods and its politically gained protection of the law let us look underneath the bark of selfishness with its human beliefs and opinions regarding the rights of the strong let us peer into the cracks and crouches that that places in your life which are carefully hidden from the world let us look on fringingly into all these places and see if these or there are not some rotten spots have you attained all this wealth by absolutely honorable and righteous methods Has any part of it been gained by sharp business practices? Yes, legitimate from the Lord's standpoint, but not from mine, your true self. Was part of it gained by deception of friends or partners? Part by taking advantage of trust imposed in you? Part by going through bankruptcy and settling for a percentage of just of your just debts part by riding rough shod over weaker souls part by deliberate fraud part by any means which arose a protesting voice within you and which voice mm, in moments of quiet and solitude ever appears to remind and accuse you ah my dear child Can you truly say that none of the wealth you possess is thus tainted? I live a super geshaya. Oh God, help us. Hmm. Yes, I know and I understand. And that's exactly what we say, right? God knows, God understands. And yet we go, we all go through these politically correct as he mentioned um ways of attaining wealth. in the lord have mercy let's go on he said my dear one if you have suffered and have regretted and are now seeking to make restitution it is because you have listened to my voice and are beginning to recognize and long for my guiding influence in your life but if you deny and loudly proclaim that none of the above applies to you and you still refuse to listen to my loving voice within we faint almost drowned almost drowned by the loud tumult now going on in your heart no my dear one that you to my sofa must enter into a life of heartache and misery and sorrow into which i must plunge you in order to purge your soul of the pride of the self will and the self love that now control you so that you too can awaken to my love and thus learn to hear and know my voice ever seeking to point out to you the true way of life as for your brothers many in fact very many i do not yet deem ready to receive the idea of acquiring wealth in many others the idea has been planted and they are merely feeling the quickening power of desire my agent others are forced by desire to think and strive and are beginning to see the means of future acquirement and still others are in the act of producing tangible results 
with all. However, I am merely using the idea of wealth and the motive power of desire for its acquirement. But after that, I will develop those souls' qualities and mental faculties which will enable me finally and fully to bring into manifestation their real self. I, the God within them, that through them my will may be made manifest on earth, even as it is in heaven. Mm. With you, my blessed one, in whom I have brought to complete fruition, my dear, my idea of wealth in the form of money and possession, and who, as my custodian, are now capable and ready consciously to cooperate with me in its use in my service, when you can be convinced that I, God, will direct you in such use. Know that soon, very soon, you will become conscious that I am within you and that you need not go without mm, to any other authority to learn this great fact. For I will cause you to know that I am leading and I'm guiding you and will gradually open up to your consciousness my plan and my purpose for the use and distribution of all that I have given you. You who have already heard my voice within and are seeking to satisfy me by giving a portion of your wealth to churches, to libraries, to scientific researches or charity or settlement work or other enterprises, thinking my voice can be stilled that way. Kalis Evania. And that the yearning hunger in your heart may be thus appeased. No, no, no that such acts are all in vain for never can i thus be satisfied my voice will become only more insistent as you strive to by giving merely a portion of the wealth you hold and which is all mine and none of it yours in such effort to please me for my child i am already pleased with you are you not what i am i have made you is not all you have done what I permitted and even caused you to do? And if I have permitted you to try to propitiate me by using your wealth in such manner, it is only because such was all I could make you understand at the time of my purpose surging within you. Mm. Therefore, when in your desire to please me, you attract to you many who ask you to give of your abundance to this or that charity, to this or that project for helping humanity. And what you call your business judgment tells you what is given will not be used properly or wisely for such purposes. And you do not respond. Know that you have likewise been led thus to refuse by me. Mm. who thus choose chose for you even as i chose for you to give to those other enterprises and all this for the fulfilling of my purpose for i have not only reserved this wealth i have given you for a special service and I have chosen you for my agent in this distribution in the way I shall disclose to you all in due season. But I am preparing your human mind so that you can understand it, that it is not your wealth I want, but it is you. Hmm. I want you to know that you and I are one and that your real self must now rule that self-will and self-pleasure must die and my will and my pleasure must live and be first and all with you from now henceforth therefore i am preparing your mind so that i can speak directly to your soul consciousness from within and i am quickening your heart so that you can become wholly conscious of my presence within so therefore, so 
Therefore, my beloved, if I say I want you, all of you, your heart, your soul, your mind, your body, all you are, all you have, all you ever hope to be or have, I say it because I want my own. Mm. You, the mortal expression of myself, my goodness. The time has come when you must know we are one. That there is no separation, no difference. Only as you think there is. Hence, all you have or are is mine. And always has been mine. And mine only. And now I claim my own. My own must come to me. My claim you must recognize. And you must give back all. Every penny. Your home, your lands, your securities, your business, your body, your intellect, your heart, your faculties, your will, your whole personality, every loved possession, even the dearest treasures of your heart. Mm. For not until you have brought all and laid them at my feet and said, Here, Father, take all and use and only let me serve thee command and henceforth I will obey not until thus come in true humility with a desire as strong to give to me as the one which impelled you to get for self. Not until your soul is so possessed with the yearning to serve me and to rest its wearied heart in my love that it can no longer be denied. Can you ever enter into my kingdom? Long ago to another people, I said it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. This is just as true today. For he whom I have deemed worthy to express the qualities of soul I am now expressing through you cannot easily humble yourself. He said, this is just as true today. For he whom I have deemed worthy to express the qualities of soul, I am now expressing through you, you cannot easily humble yourself. Cannot reduce that haughty personality which so long has led and ruled so he can go through the narrow gate of self-benignation, abnegation, and self-denial. Yet, I say unto you, you must come to that if you would enter into my kingdom. This is all foolishness. You say, you cannot enter the kingdom of God here on earth. Even if you could, you would have to be shown of what practical value such an attainment was to one in business with a family and all the associations and responsibilities of large and varied interest. Let us see if it is not possible to find that kingdom and to enter it right here on earth. Mm. 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 I am speechless and I know you are too. This is Deep. This is massive. I'll see you in the next lesson. He said, listen. The next lesson. Lesson number four. He says, listen. I'll see you there. Have a good one. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Heirs of God TV, perfecting saints to become like Christ. Thanks for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on becoming all you were born to be. See you in the next episode.